As always, I do want to thank the Dokkan Reddit for the amazing information over here. If you are not already subscribed to their Reddit, please go ahead and do so. The DBZ Dokkan Reddit, I'll leave a link in the description. Remind me if I forget to do so, sometimes I do. That being said, over the course of the last couple of days on the Japanese version of the game, you would have seen that Cooler had an announcement in there. So Cooler is actually the upcoming Extreme Physical Types God Leader. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and break down the card and the other corresponding cards that are coming out as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video nonetheless. Subscribe if you happen to be new because we always do this. So I give you guys my thoughts on the new information, new cards and uh, units, excuse me, all that other stuff coming out. So that being said... Let's go ahead and begin. So physical, like I said, is the new cooler. Extreme type leader. He's the same as Super Saiyan 4s, except he's the extreme lead. So that means that there will probably, I assume there will be, a uh, hero physical type leader that does the same thing and then gives 50% to the villains. So extreme type physical characters, 3 key and 120% up to all stats. And the heroes, the super types, get 1 key and 50%. Like I said, same as the Super Saiyan 4, except it's the flop of that because their super types get 120 and 3 key. And then their extreme types get the 50% and 1 key. So for him, it appears that he has an unconditional 100% up on attack and defense. That's really cool on him. So it makes him a tank, if you will, and a really hard hitter too. So he has a guaranteed additional attack. And also the additional attack can sometimes be a super attack. So he's kind of like Vegito Blue and Broly in a mix because it doesn't say he gets multiple super attacks, right? Like Vegito Blue's card says he gets multiple or multiple additional attacks, chances of them being super attacks, whatever. It shows that he only gets one additional. It's guaranteed, so it's like Broly, but Broly's is guaranteed to be a super attack. But it says this can sometimes be it, so it probably has a lower chance. Most of the time it'll be a normal attack. So that does mean that with like dupe system integration, for example, he could probably get three attacks off, which would be really cool on this guy. You know, Cooler can start to shape up to be a really good unit. Um, not to say he's not going to be, but I mean he can be a lot better. And that's just kind of the case for a lot of these guys anyway. When you factor in the dupe system, ability, skill tree, whatever you want to call it, um, a lot of these guys get better than they are. So I think they make these guys with that in mind. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section in regards to that statement. But Link said, Strong's Clan in Space was a two-key Link, which is generally for the Frieza Clan. There's for Conquest. I talked about that in a previous video. That can be a sneaky good Link on a lot of teams now because it is getting a little bit more relevance. And that dog in the bottom right corner is killing me, the pug over there, if that's a pug. Uh, big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Metamorphosis, Universe is Most Malevolent, another Frieza Link, and Fierce Battle. So, off the bat, I can already tell you this guy's going to link really well offensively with the physical Frieza. They're going to be really good friends. SR Ginyu actually links really well on this team, too, because you're going to run LR Ginyu and stuff like that, too. So, it's it's a weird team that you're going to run if you're running physical extremes. So, it, it's kind of weird. Tech TUR Kura, Final Form, Villain Assault. AGL Tech Physical Types, 2 key, and 30% up to all stats. 90% uh, up, ad an additional at the start of the turn, or unconditional. Rare Chance of Sun on the Death Chancer, which is cool. It looks like the same Link set. Yeah, the same Link set. I Oh, instead of, he has Brutal Beatdown instead of Shocking Speed. Okay. Which, eh, whatever. Anyways, AGL Kura, he's the one from the Baba Shop. He... He kind of got shafted. He didn't get a lot better, but this is something I talked about recently. When these cards start off with those passives like that, they don't have a lot of room for growth unless you just give them a crazy high increase. For example, like Evil Boo, they gave him like 2,500 initially, and then they jumped it all the way up to 18,000. It's like, that's a really massive increase. But a lot of times, like him, 7,500 and whatever. It, it is cool, uh, still a cool buff. But, you know, he, he could have done a lot better. But then again, those guys don't have a lot of potential because they can't just up the percentage on them. So without harking on that too much, he has supreme damage and lowers defense, which is cool. Um, really similar link set. And that being said, let me look up. This guy doesn't have Nightmare um, or f Fear and Faith. Huh. Okay. Okay. So he's not going to work as well. Well, I guess he kind of could because he does have Shocking Speed. He's going to link really weirdly on a, on a villain team. Villain team is going to become like this LR, Frieza, Kura, Meta, Me Mecha Kura, Meta Kura, whatever, the intelligence one, uh, full power Frieza. It's going to become something like that. It's really weird how they're shaping these guys up. I'm just giving my thoughts right now, spitballing. And um, 7,500, same link set. Um, Fierce Battle. Okay. So he's like the first Baba Shop card to get Fierce Battle, huh? I think so. That's pretty cool, though, that they're doing that. That means that there's more potential for that other Gohan in there, too, and the other Goku. And, like, there's a lot of potential for those other guys, especially, like, Bojack. Maybe they'll give Bojack a Dokkan Festival, which I'm not really sure or keen on why they chose Kura or Cooler. But I guess they're, they they thought that people would want to pull from him because a lot of people don't like 
you know, cooler. So I'm most hyped about this. An SSR kid Gohan or teen Gohan, whatever. They, they call him teen here. Adolescent. Three key, 30% up to physical and tech types. And I think that's the same leader that Pan has, the one that just came out. For one time, when HP is 30% below, attack plus 200 and restore to full health. That, <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, that's going to be a really good ability in boss rush. If you want to do boss rush, that's going to be a really good ability because it'll happen every single time you fight the boss. That doesn't really mean he runs really well on tech. You know, I don't think he will, but because he's not doing anything otherwise, he has supreme damage and a rare chance to stun fine. He has shocking speed, which is cool. You know, it just he doesn't have much else going on from the end. sense, cool. You know, in gaze of respect, is interesting to see that there. I don't really think off the top of my head there's a good tech Piccolo either. But that's going to be a really good ability in boss rush. You know, 200% up, fine. But that heal, he's basically Whis. So that's kind of like something like AGL Whis will look like when he gets a rebirth or awaken, if he ever does. All types, I expect that he will. I'm off the top on, on this video. You can already tell. I'm just all over the place. I expect AJ Elwes will because, I mean, a long time ago they showed that newer Super Hachiak thing. So I assume that eventually they'll come back to that. All right. AGL, SSR, Thouser, Salza, all types. So he's a rainbow leader for two key. Attack and defense 20%. No HP buff. Okay. AGL and tech types get two key and attack and defense up 20%. Attack and defense up 20% probably only applies to him. It could apply to everybody. It just depends on the wording. I'll have to see when the card comes out. Correct me if you know in the comment section. Supreme damage. Bowser has fierce battle and shocking speed. And he's AGL. So he's weird. He you know, He's a supporting unit. He can fit pretty well on a AGL team, depending on who you're running. So it'll be interesting to see how some of these guys work out. Now let's look at the card arts for them. This is the summonable cooler here. This is what he Dokkan awakens into. This is the version of the card. Obviously he has an immense modifier. You see down below, check out the max stats on the guy. 10,000. Oh, ooh, geez. 10,000, almost 11,000 attack. That's really high, and then you factor in the 100% buff on that, and then the, the leader skill with him being the leader, that means 240%. Cooler's going to hit really hard, and then Lynx, Fierce Battle, all that stuff. And this is the tech one, which will also be on the banner. They always have to have, you know, one summonable card that's not the main, you know, Fierce Battle Awakening card, just so you have multiple chances to get something to, to use on the event, right? This is the Baba Shop guy. Kind of looks the same. He has Fierce Battle, which is cool. He's a TUR now. That's awesome. Sousa, Sousa, and Gohan, I'm most hyped about Gohan, so anyways, that's pretty much it, um, all in all, I think that it's going to be interesting, the teams that we run from here, as far as like, the way that the game is changing, and these leader skills, they're doing something different that they've never really done, in my opinion, they're trying to make all these cards have viable leader skills, you look at these amalgam leader skills like tech and physical types three key and hp attack and defense 30 percent agl two key it's like and 50 percent buffs on this guy so like they're trying to do different things and i think that bandai finally realized or bond i finally realized that you know leader skills are what make this game they're the most important thing in this game because that's what led to God Leads and God Leads led to you being able to destroy every event easily. So I think that's what they're doing. Uh, and they're going to keep going out with this stuff. I do expect, you know, uh, a villain variation for each type and a hero variation for each of these new God Leads. So let me know your thoughts down below. Will this be a unit that you'll summon for? Whether you like Cooler or not, is it something you'd be interested in having in your team? Do you have viable extreme physical units to run on a team with him? Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new as always. And I'll catch you guys in the next video with the next next update as always like i said be sure to subscribe to the dokkan subreddit until then uh talk to you guys soon peace <laughs>